my name is Richard Wilson and um, yeah I'm here in Leicester as soon as I drove around the corner around the back of Kate Street and saw it I just and that was completely by chance I mean got so lucky I saw this one and just thought oh my god this is this is heaven but at that point I actually thought to myself well they're never gonna let me paint it it's so pristine it's so perfect in good condition with barbed wire on the top and cameras there it's obviously you know a kind of important wall to them so when they said yes you know I can I can paint it when I saw the wall I didn't even know what what it belonged to so I went around the front and saw there's a big electrical shop so I thought okay so it's that went inside and spoke to the manager yeah I just said to him this isn't something you're gonna get asked every day <laughs> but I paint large portraits of people and I want to do Ranieri on the back wall so he seemed quite intrigued so I thought okay that's not a no straight mm -hmm. away and he went and phoned Mark and the owner and pretty much within two minutes without even seeing a mock-up I had made you know I thought I'm gonna have to give someone a hard mm. sell to allow me to do this nope they, would, they pretty much pushed me out the back to get stuff. And at that point, it was just Ranieri and the flag. That's all I had in my head. Richard. Yes. Stunning. Thank you very much. <laughs> just, Thank you. Just, just tell us what made you want to do this. Well, it started off with just painting Claudio, um, just because I like to paint people that inspire me. Um, and I want to try and start combining that with doing it in their hometowns or places associated with them. So once I thought of Claudio, I thought, how cool if I can do him in Leicester came up and I got so lucky I found this wall completely off just by luck the guy inside who owns the wall is a crazy Leicester fan and he pretty much pushed me out here to do it um, he owns the shop at the front Mark's Electrical and that has now turned into me doing going to be here for a month painting the whole team now when I turned up there's obviously yeah. a lot of people I think I mean I've heard you on radio and yeah, there's yeah, been yeah. a lot of interest were you expecting people to be not, so not at all from the first moment i got here and started painting everyone around the local people have just been incredible and i you can really feel there's a, a great atmosphere great feeling around the place um and probably a lot connected to what the football team have done a real feel good factor i thought once i had the idea i, I was watching the swansea game a few weeks ago and i thought i want to paint claudio First time I've done some done someone non non music related, but I thought he's, he's what such drew a you to him. Well, he just the way he, he just comes across so well, doesn't he? He's just such a character, and obviously what's happened this year with the team, it's just phenomenal stories. You know, I think it's it's more than sport or football. It's anything's possible. Like me coming here and managing to do to be doing this. I mean, you, I would never have imagined. Just like I would never imagine Leicester winning the league. I think I'd get bigger odds than five thousand to one of me ever coming to Leicester and all of this happening. I've had friends come up from, from London and just like hang out for a few hours and they're just bewildered like me. <laughs> like just this, what's happening in this street. So you're all Leicester City supporters now then? We are now, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have found somewhere but I don't know if it would have had this impact. The exact right size that I need in terms of fitting their faces in from top to bottom Maybe a little bit bigger than I'm used to, but that's, that's great. Yeah. With these kind of things, bigger the better in a, in a way. The wall is probably about 60 metres, maybe I think 50 to 60 metres at the back. I can't quite fit everyone on that, but again, another piece of luck. Just round the side, the wall extends, so I'm going to paint a couple of players there. <laughs> and, and you'll be able to see those ones from the main road yeah. driving past. Just doing Wes. Who's next after Wes? Um, I think Shinji. There, just as the left of Schmeichel. And then that's that section of all done. Yeah. And then I'll pack on up there. Oh, I just think it's incredible. It's just Thank so you. skillful. It's just such it's a privilege to see. I just wanted to come and see it close up because you just couldn't believe the detail from just seeing it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. And when you see it, the detail's stunning when you get right up to wow, the lips and seriously. everything. So how's it gone then, Richard, today? Oh, it's going great. Just finished for today. Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow and do Shinji on that space where there's the white square down there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going great. Just loving it, having the best time in Leicester. So did you go to the party last night? No, no, I didn't. I didn't, but yeah. I see the... Um, I saw the coaches uh, go past my hotel, so I managed to see them, so that was good. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. So how long does it take you to do each picture, then? Uh, about a day and a half. Yeah. yeah. And how many cans of paint do you got? Through? Do you know what? I, I, I don't even know. Probably... Average, probably about five or six each one. Uh, probably do about five or six, but I've got loads in the, in the van, so I'm all, right, I'm all right for stock at the moment. You started nice and early today, then? Yeah, I'm here like just after six, really.
What about yesterday with the rain? Did it uh, hold you up? No, not too much. I made a little roof. So I did tarpaulin over the top. Yeah. So it's all right. Let's tuck it under that. It's not coming out his nose, you tell him. Probably. That's all that running. It's very surreal. Um, I don't even know if it's actually sunk in yet, even though it's been over a period of three weeks already. I mean, I'm genuinely oh, well, so fulfilled already with this and just doing it as a hobby. I'm going way back, like in the mid 80s. Um, I became obsessed with graffiti art, subway art from, you know, there was a book um, and um, a documentary that came over from New York and grabbed the attention of people like me, you know, teenagers. And since then, even though I haven't been, you know, a, a writer in a in sense of doing graffiti prolifically at all, it's just been a massive obsession for me. And maybe in the last, I don't know, maybe the last five years, got really interested in trying to paint portraits with different mediums, acrylic, oil, but struggling a bit. Last year I tried, okay, let me just try one with spray paint. Never thought I'd be able to do it. I did a, I did a hero of mine, Louis Vega. All of this is to do with music, pretty much. Obviously this isn't. That's why I... I literally felt compelled to try and to try and express myself to um yeah to to try and let these music, musicians and artists that I'm so passionate about know how much what they do means to people. I thought, well, if I could do something like a paint their portrait, paint a mural about them, I might be able to let them know what it what it means to people like me. Because there's a lot of different techniques you can do this. I mean, I I use a grid to basically get my proportions correct. Some talk about whether that's actually cheating or not. But once I did some research into it, because I never knew about this idea of gridding, um, and I read that Da Vinci used to use it to scale things up, I thought, well, it's good enough for him. I, I follow, and I'm really interested in people who do these kind of portraits, and I think there's a few people around the world who don't use any aid at all in terms of a grid. They literally can just turn up and paint, and that's unbelievable. I don't even know how they do that. So I, I, I put mark up a grid on the wall, a set of squares, and that helps me transfer the images in my phone to the wall um, and it's just in one color at the moment so I've got a white background and I'm doing it with um, a dark gray paint and that's really just so I can stand back and look at it once I finish and say okay that looks like who it's supposed to look like once I got to that point at that stage I just start shading in with uh, probably about five or six different shades of gray yeah I mean these are probably the biggest ones I've done usually a little bit smaller but not much I mean if I start to get Imagine half the size of this. I don't think I could pull them off just because of using the spray paint. One of the ultimate things for me about this is people are so interested in the spray paint side of it. Yeah. They're genuinely fascinated. How are you doing it? They want to pick up the cat. I mean, most of these people probably never even touched one, never even seen. Uh, most, most art on the wall, whether it's art or not, are subjective. They might see it as an eyesore, yeah. anything done with a spray can. Yeah, so that's just the thing that fascinates me, the interest in, in the actual art form, I guess, of doing something like this with spray paint. Um, people genuinely interested and intrigued from all walks of life. I mean, when I came originally, I just, and did Ranieri, I just booked myself into a hotel up the road mm. and just stayed there. But since this has kind of, since I came back to start the rest of the wall, the rest of the players, it's turned into something mad to the point of, I booked into the Holiday and Express next to the ground, yeah. Yeah. just completely randomly. And I got quoted about £1,200 to stay there for three weeks. And I was like, oh my God, there's no... <laughs> but I might have to. What can I do? I've yeah. got to stay here. Anyway, so I was in the middle of trying to... I was on my laptop trying to look at alternatives, you know, somewhere cheaper. And I got a phone call from the Leicester Mercury local paper. And I was just talking to him. He asked me what I'm up to. And pretty much he said, listen, I think I can sort that out for you. So give me 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, the room rings in my hotel. She says, oh, I suppose yesterday gave you a quote of 1200 Actually, you can have it for free. I mean, wow. unbelievable. If I wasn't sitting on the edge of the bed, I'd have fallen over. I mean, that's an incredible offer to stay in a hotel for three weeks for free. But usually when you do anything where there's a lot of people involved, you're going to get some negativity. Someone's going to, you know, there's, that, there's always one kind of thing. I haven't seen anything other than just complete love being shown to me here. It's, it's mind-blowing. Like I said, it's very surreal. I don't know if it's sunk in yet. Um, just trying to embrace it really I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself in the middle of situations or things that if you'd have said to me a month ago I'd have probably been a pretty scared of doing them it seems to all be working out just because everyone's so so nice and um, it's just really inspiring me to try and keep going with it 
the boys that I work with directly, they know because every now and again they'd see something of mine on Facebook. That's my only way of sharing something, and that's just to my friends, which is, and they probably might have one or two hundred people interested because they're like minded, you know, they're into the same yeah. music. So they, I'll post someone that I've painted, and they're like, okay, I'm a fan of his too. So, it, and it's wonderful comments, and you know, and that's, I'm, that really drives me on to, to do more. So, but, but a lot of the, the people up the chain in Bonhams, no idea I'm doing. No idea I'm doing this at all. You know, management level um, directors and so on. And it wasn't until this was all over the news and all over the Financial Times, for example, and all sorts of papers that I've come into work, and they're like, "Who, who are you? <laughs> what's, who, what's going on?" How, you know. And the, the standard question is, "Why are you? Why are you driving a van?" And apart from the fact I actually quite like it, um, I like my job. Um, I like spray painting these faces more. Um, and if something ever comes from it, great. But yeah, it's, it's funny the reaction from work. My boss Andy has been so kind. I mean, he, he, I think he understood, he, he'd seen something in The Guardian about this and he, he kind of understood, okay, you've got a crazy opportunity here. Not even in terms of business or anything like that, but just a chance to paint a wall solidly for a month. I mean, it's a dream come true. It's, it's incredible bizarrely almost parallels what happened with the team in the sense of anything's possible. You, I would not have imagined any of this would be possible. <laughs>